guys, so before we begin this trade binder video, I wanted a quick um, update, I guess, on the channel. It's been a while since I made one. I'm going to try to go a different route, um, like something like, I don't know, more community based, I believe. John from this trade binder video, hopefully he'll be able to make me some gameplay videos. Uh, we talked about that, maybe some box opening videos. Uh, Dan, I always welcome Dan or Bobby, whoever wants to make videos on his channel. Uh, you know, if I make, if you make it, I will post it pretty much, assuming it's not too creepy. And anyway, yeah, so we, we did a collab with Travis and I expect many more collabs with Travis as well as other YouTubers. I'm really trying to remake my channel and try to be more involved with the community in general. So without much further ado, let's continue with the trade binder. So this is my standard binder. Um, it's mostly standard. I think there's a couple cards that aren't standard in here. But uh, this is what I usually bring to events and stuff because I'm not big into trading. I usually just buy cards when I need them. But uh, this is much the binder I'm going to be willing to trade at, out of. There's all my extra stuff. Uh, I usually deal in a lot of foils, which I won't show that binder because there's a lot of value in there. It's like your standard. I already took out everything from Cons and Fate out of this binder. So it's all... Right now it's just Oath, Battle. I think it's like two Origins cards in here because there's really not much on that set than Planeswalkers, which are in decks. But, you know, World Breakers, Oath of Nyssa. These are cards I think will be playable after rotation. So there's... Let me see if I get the camera to zoom out. Let's see. It's a little bit better. We have uh, Sylvan Advocates, Dark Dwellers, Cosmic Return, I think will be really good after rotation. Uh, Drowsy Obligators, Chandra's, Ailey's. Stuff like that, and all the man lands from uh, Oath. It's, set, it's sort of by set and then type. So you got like green, red, gold lands. <clears throat> uh, Kalidus, which is seeing play in Modern, and I think Legacy. You got uh, Lambala, Eldrazi, Placer. I think Thought Nasser is going to see a lot of play. It's just a really good. Or mana 4 4 that does a lot of stuff. More Eldrazi. Uh, all the Battlelands. Planeswalkers, Undergrowth Champion. This is Battle for Zendikar now. So you have Endless Lawn. Painful Truce. Manlands. Uh, yeah, random good cards. As you see. The light, which I don't think he's gonna see play anymore just because the mana bases just can't fit it. I mean, three color decks will still be playable, but I don't think Bring the Light in a three color deck is good as a five drop. You just can just play the card usually. The reason I like go searching for it. Uh, this card I see play now. Beast Caller 7. I think it'd be really good in the meta just as a mana fixer. Uh, then I have my foreign cards, Korean. Green Man Lands, Unvalo, Hadrazi Displacer, Dark Dwellers, Thanos here, Kozilek, Worldbreaker, Obligators, Kozilek's Return. I do like foreign cards, so I have a lot of them. Uh, these are Nissas, the Black Nissa. You yeah. wanted to know what the Comic Con ones look like. I do have Jaces and everything, but they're in decks. This is the only extra one I have. I don't have any Kithians, so I did order a few. Is it might go up in value, and they're cheap right now. I think like forty dollars for the Comic Con promos. Uh, foil Raptors, Foil Den Protectors. These are all foils. So Raptors, Den Protectors, Sylvan Advocates, uh, Foil Dramocus Commands, and Expeditions. These are all the extra ones I have. I have a playset of every Expedition, but these are the extra ones. Uh, it's uh, Steam Vents, Blood Crypt, a couple Filter Lands. Battlelands. Those are regular foils, Evolving Wilds, which I think is the most one of the most played lands now in standard. Uh, promo Dark Dwellers, well, Ailey. Well, that's the FNM Duress. I just like some of the non-standard stuff. I don't. 
I kept it in here because I had really nowhere else to put it besides in a deck box in my bag. So there's like random Liliana. These are signed collected companies by the artist. Signs up top, which is awkward. Usually artists sign here or in a text box. Uh, these are my favorite lightning bolts. These are Japanese 4th edition Black Border. It's for Rush Art. Random Scrubland, a pack Forest. These are all my full full art basics. That are extra swamps. These are original Zendikar, by the way. It's my favorite swamp art that's from original Zendikar. And my favorite islands. Uh, these are the John Avon ones. What else we have? I think that's it, yeah. Just random Japanese. Garbage Mocha. Crackleys I need to take out. That's basically it. Uh, this is just the standard 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 binder. It's, if I was a trade out of anything, it'd probably be this, because it's all extra stuff. Um... For those that do want to see it, the Black Jace. You've never seen one before. I think Jace right now, the Comic Con promo is $300. It might have gone down to $280. But uh, I got lucky. I picked up my Comic Con sets for $200 at Grand Prix San Diego last year. So. Sometimes you get lucky with those things, like, people, I knew they were going to go up, because if you look at the history of all the Comic-Con promos, they have gone up in value. Um, also, in the MTG Finance world, I think Oath of the Gatewatch right now is the best set to invest in, if you're to buy a sealed product. Shadows, I'm only buying a case. Oath, I've bought three cases so far, because it has, most of the cards are just played in standard. And it's a small set, so if you buy a case, you're apt to get a lot of the stuff that's valuable, like Kalidus I think is $25 right now. Val I think will go up, I mean all the Planeswalkers will be sea play, all the Manlands. Um, Chandra's $20 right now, she'll probably go up. Uh, Nissa too, she's 15 and she's gonna see a lot of play. It's a 3 mana Planeswalker and now she's finally gonna shine because what's holding her back is the 2 green and the casting costs. Now that 4 color decks are a thing of the past in standard, this will see a lot of play now. So yep, that's uh, that's my trade binder. If anyone actually wanted to know, All right, goodbye.